pretty small, but we have stayed in hotel rooms smaller. This is the bathroom. It really stinks, so it we'll shut that door. It smells horrific. We made a very bad choice. Good afternoon, guys. So tonight we're going to jump on an overnight ferry from Tallinn to Stockholm. Yes, it's going to take about 18 to 19 hours. So we are so excited. We've never done an overnight ferry or anything like this before. We have a cabin on the ferry. So once we get on, we'll show you around that. It is bucketing down with snow here at the moment in Tallinn. We've booked an Uber. We're just doing the final minute pack up and clean for air from our Airbnb. <laughs> jump in the Uber and head down to the ferry port, which should take about 10 minutes. All right, we'll see you there. This weather is gnarly. This is insane. It's no messing around with that Uber driver and we're probably a good maybe like minute or two walk from the terminal so let's get going. All the snow just sticks into my beard. <laughs> and it's all in my hair as well. I'm hoping it doesn't freeze my hair. Right, first thing we need to do is find the check-in desk or do a self-check-in. I think we could do the self-check-in here. That was the easiest check-in process. So this is what you get your ticket for to scan it through the security. Boarding starts in about five minutes and I think it's an hour and a half to board the ship. And once we get into our cabin, is that what it's called? Cabin? Cabin suite, yeah. We'll give you guys a tour, probably have some dinner, and then we'll show you around the ship. I'm so excited because I have no idea what to expect. I know that a lot of people have done cruises and they're just like, you're getting excited for an 18 hour overnight ferry. This but... wouldn't be a cruise. This is catching a boat, <laughs> a ferry from A to B. This is not just a point A to B, typical like standard ferry. This is, this is a cruise ship. It's a cruise to me, even though we are going from Tallinn to Stockholm. It's still a cruise and we get a cabin at least so we're sleeping on a ship that is a all right we're going on a cruise <laughs> <laughs> This is so confusing. So we just got on and the lady told us to go up to the eighth floor because we are room 8417. There's some numbers there, but they're nine. Yeah. Please. Maybe they're just unlocked and the keys are inside. <laughs> no one has told us anything. We literally got on, she said hi, come on through. There it is, 8417. We don't have keys. Like the key. Oh, if it is. Oh, that's in cheap. That is like. That is they're living in the future. Whoa! Oh, we got a window. Cute! Oh my Yay! All right, we'll dump our stuff and we'll show you around. Yes. Welcome to my room. All right, that door is so heavy. We'll just close that. <laughs> so this is the bed. I think it's a queen size bed. It's super, super comfortable. We've got lamps and little bedside tables on either side of the bed. A big, I think you call them portholes. I think that's the coolest part oh, of the room. Oh, uh, that's gonna be amazing when the sun rises tomorrow morning. In here, I'll let you go in because I'm not gonna fit in there with you. This is the bathroom where it's got a shower, toilet, mirror. It is a little bit stinky. It, it really stinks, so it we'll shut that door. It smells horrific. We will let you know the cost of this a little bit later in the video. Um, but I think that's it. Some storage. Storage space, we've got some towels up here. There's also a little desk. Uh, vanity with a... When we say little, there's no work in it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, very basic. It looks pretty comfortable. 
She'll get a good night's sleep here. Oh, do you know what we forgot? Seasick tablets. We both get very seasick. Didn't forget them. They're in my bag, so we better okay. take them now. Hopefully it does the trick. The ship is massive. There's 10 different floors. So we're going to go check out probably the most important uh, part first, the bar. Yes, the bars. And this floor apparently has a lot of restaurants. There's a cafe restaurant where you probably have breakfast. We didn't get any food package or meal option with ours. We just thought we'd pay as we go, whatever we wanted. And we did bring our food in the food bag. Um, but this is the Grand Buffet. Opposite the Grand Buffet, there is a little corridor where you've got like a grill and another restaurant. I looked out the window and for a second I forgot that I was on a ship. <laughs> I just saw the water there and I was like, oh, I'm on a ship. Definitely doesn't feel like it, it's very big. Cruising around here. So right next to the bar and grill, we're going to head through here to another bar. There seems to be a lot of bars on this ship. Starbucks coffee machine. This is what they've given the name Fashion Street. So it's clothes, watches, jewellery that probably will open in the morning. I don't know. Little children's play area as well. I'm definitely glad that's empty. <laughs> and then this place here is called the Starlight Palace. It's very noisy in here, so I'm not going to talk too much, but it is a theatre and a bar. Oh, it sounds like there's a band. Let's check it out over here. This is so cool! It's so loud! We'll go back out and we'll talk a bit. That theatre was so cool. And you're telling me that this isn't a proper cruise ship, Steve? Come it on. It feels like a proper cruise it ship. It does yeah. feel like a proper cruise ship. This is not just a point A to B, your typical like standard ferry. This is this is a cruise ship. That's pretty cool. There's a full cigar bar here. And I'm just looking, they've got a program up on the LED board and like every hour they have different musicians playing at different areas of the ship in the different bars. So that is so cool. There's a um, tango dance lesson that starts in an hour. Should we do it? No. <laughs> There's no way I'm getting Steve on the dance floor. No way. I think we should go out for dinner. We weren't going to, but I've had a look at a menu and the prices are pretty reasonable. I was really looking forward to my packet ramen though. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to head down a level to level six where it's got the cosmetic boutique, gifts and toy shop, video games and a supermarket. So all the shops are shut because we are quite early. We pretty much just dumped our stuff and we've come looking around the ship. But this is a chemist or cosmetic place? Cosmetic boutique. So I'll sneak the camera in there. All right, we're just passing the toys and gift shop. And there's an arcade down here as well. Video games. There's a supermarket here somewhere, so we're trying to find that. Found that way where it was the supermarket. So the supermarket is closed. closed. <laughs> I was going to say I thought it was open, but no. It opens in about five minutes, so we'll come back a little bit later because I really want to grab some water and maybe a few little snacks. Oh. All right, we're going to head outside to the deck. We're going to see if we can walk from the back of the ship to the front of the ship. Oh. Walking along, we've just noticed another restaurant, so we're going to go and check that one out too. Why not? <laughs> so this is all like the ready-to-go food and actually pretty reasonably priced. Like these sandwiches are three euro. The beers are six fifty, which is pretty overpriced. Continuing on. <laughs> we made it to the sauna. This ship is like a maze. Couldn't film in there for obvious reasons, but there was a full swimming pool and a spa two saunas and it was what for an hour and a half 12 euro to yep. use the pool and saunas or you could go into the sauna privately and it was 80 euro for an hour and a half so we're not going to be doing that um, we're just enjoying the ship for what it is pretty much we're using the ship as a hotel to yes. get from a to b and a sleep vessel. a vessel a vessel <laughs> we are just so excited and we are running around the ship with not a lot of direction so we'll see how we go when we edit it but I did want to quickly just let you know that there are interior cabins and exterior cabins. So we have an exterior cabin that faces out, but there are a lot inside. So they would have been the cheaper rooms because they don't have windows. We as a crew are keeping safety and security of our guests 
and highest priority. Thank you for your attention and we wish you a pleasant and safe voyage on board MS Baltic Queen. So we've set sail nice and smooth at this point. We were going to have dinner in our room, but with all the restaurants and different sort of bars around, I think we're going to I think we're going to go out for dinner. I don't know why we like why we would even think to be eating tuna in our room when there's so many awesome restaurants and it smells incredible. You walk yeah. out, you just get all the smells from all the different restaurants and I think we definitely should go out. So we'll save the ramen for another night and let's go have a look at the restaurants yes. and see if there's something worth getting. All right, so we did decide to go out for dinner and it's really rocky at the moment. The waitress at the restaurant that we went to was saying she's been on the cruise ship for seven years and last week was the worst weather and the worst storm that she'd ever experienced. And they, yeah, everyone was very sick. Um, so we got these. <laughs> Gingins. We are feeling, we're not feeling nauseous, but you can definitely feel the rock of the boat and the waves are coming up on the side and... Um, they've blocked off the access to get out to the external part of the boat or ship. Um, but yeah, how are you going there, Steve? Good, just thought yeah. I lost my phone, but yeah. I found it. And Wi-Fi doesn't work in the rooms, even though it says that it does and we're given a Wi-Fi password, it doesn't work. <laughs> it only works on, I think, the sixth and seventh floor, she was yeah. saying. Yeah, yep, she was saying it only works in the public spaces, basically where the supermarket and all the restaurants that we showed you earlier in the video are and um yeah you can't access wi-fi from the bedrooms but that's okay we're only going to sleep and wake up in the morning to the beautiful view out of our little porthole also we haven't given you the price yet that wasn't deliberately to leave you guys hanging it was just we forgot and then i had to look it up and find out how much we paid so it was 390 dollars australian and that was for the both of us to go from Tallinn to stockholm no meals no food drink or anything in whoa it's so rocky <laughs> Included in that price, it was just the cabin, basically what you see here, which we're happy with. We are trying to avoid flying as much as possible on this whole Europe trip, basically. Um, so the flights in comparison at the time of booking, which was about three months ago, was pretty on par. They were pretty similar prices. Um, but yeah, we thought we'd never done a cruise before and we are trying to avoid flying. So I think so far we've made the right decision. Enough rambling. We might, it's getting a little bit late. Oh, my arm's hurting. So I think we might um, put the camera down for the rest of the night and we'll pick it back up tomorrow and we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys, it is early. There is pretty much no one up on the ship but me. I'm on a bit of a mission this morning. I've got to find coffee cups. We've got coffee in the room and a kettle to boil water but there's no cups. So we saw a, like a coffee machine on level six. So I'm gonna head down there now and see if I can grab some cups. Here's the Starbucks coffee machine. All your normal coffees. They're a little bit expensive. They're 450 euro for a tall coffee. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little bit too expensive. So I'm just gonna grab a couple cups and we'll make coffee in the room. You awake? Ooh, that door gets me every time. This isn't a very pretty or aesthetic good morning video. I haven't even got up yet, so we haven't, it's not one of those get up, set the camera up and pretend to wake up. This is me literally woken up. I have a bandaid on my face because I have a huge pimple under there and I've got pimple cream on it, so yeah. Thank you, Stephen, for getting me a cup. That's all right. We didn't want to pay the 450 euro for a, for a cup. Have you already said that to the I camera? I that when I grabbed it. We also, didn't want to pay, so we use our own little um, kettle. Anyway, let's make some coffee. Coffee is served. Thank you, sir. <laughs> it's the biggest cup I've ever seen. And it is only full to there because our kettle's so tiny. I think it holds about 800 ml of water.
landstigning sker på däck nummer 5. Dear passengers, welcome to Stockholm. This embarkation is on deck number five. All right, guys, we nearly forgot to film an ending to this video. So if you've made it this far, thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. We've arrived at our Airbnb here in Stockholm, Sweden, where we're spending a couple of days. Next time you see us, we're going to be on a train heading way further north to the top of Norway. Make sure you stick around for that and we'll see you in the next one. This salad is 8.30 euro. That's like... 13 Australian dollars for this salmon and salad. I'm still annoyed, I paid eight euro for a bowl of lettuce. <laughs> I was still so hungry after that bowl of lettuce that I got seaweed. It's so, so stupid. I'm gonna be starving still.